There's a field in Rothamsted. This is a, 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 an agricultural station in the United Kingdom which has been growing wheat, I think, for something like, and I'm not sure I'm going to get the figures right here, but over 150 years, maybe 200 years. And the uh, uh, production now per acre is now eight to ten times higher than it was over exactly the same land. Because of the science. Because of the science. We have the possibility of helping um, feed the world, cultivating marginal habitats by better plant breeding, which will include um, genetic modification. And I think that the uh, objection to um, genetic modification of crops on the whole is irrational. In the United States, it's less of a contentious issue. But if I go back to Europe, it's a hugely contentious issue. Well, it is a building issue in this country. It is. Genetic modification. And let me say one thing about these two issues, which come up all the time and are politically and ideologically influenced. What really interests me, and I don't have a solution for this, in the US, on the whole, um, GMOs have been generally accepted, yeah. certainly better than in Europe, but there's um, much greater debate about climate change, whereas in Europe it's the complete reverse. And I find that interesting and also tells us that this isn't to do with science, it's to do with ideology and politics. It is true that in the United States it's not as hot an issue as climate change, no pun intended. And I <laughs> take your point, it's interesting that in Europe it's the reverse. reverse yeah. But there is a, a, a building movement of resisting these genetically modified foods and saying, yep. listen, we're, we're behind Europe yep. on this. But, you know, as individuals, as a people, as a society, as a nation, what do you do about this? I mean, I'm interested in having pure food as the next guy. Well, I tell you what I think is very important here, and the scientists and maybe the, the commercial interests failed here with GMOs. We didn't really have a good and proper debate about the issues early enough. It was just assumed these would be acceptable to the public when the public didn't really know what was going on. One thing was the um, very aggressive uh, marketing and advertising by companies, which people got deeply suspicious of. But the second reason, which was really interesting, when um, normal, the normal public were asked the question, why don't you like GMOs? And the answer was, uh, by far the most frequent answer in the surveys that I was involved in is we don't want to eat food which has genes in them. Now, the reason I mention this is that this is something that a scientist can't conceive of because they know all food has genes in it. It's because it's made from living organisms. Now, they weren't saying foreign genes or anything more sophisticated, just genes. And it, it made me realise that we, we had never even gone out and asked the public what bothered them. Now that's just plain stupid. We were just stupid. What we need to do is engage the public, know what the issues are, know what their fears are, and then we have to answer them. And so it's proper engagement, proper dialogue, I think helps sort out all these problems. Well, certainly any, com any talk, any mention of genes is right in your wheelhouse. It is. Yep. As a broad generality, I take your point, mm -hmm. should I be worried about GMO food? No. Um, we've been modifying the genetic makeup of food for ever since um, the agricultural revolution um, in um, 10,000 BC. I mean, we've been doing it by crossing different plants together, and we could have made very dangerous plants and very dangerous animals by crossing in certain um, uh, genetic material that could cause it. We now can do it in a way where we can introduce genes from more distant organisms. Um, which gives you greater um, possibilities. But the key point is not how you do it, but what you make. And this is what's so crazy about it. You can have a production line making cars or making tanks. And they are very similar. True. Cars are safe. Tanks are not safe, at least for kill people. Those, uh, they kill people. Yet the means by which they made are the same. Thank this you. is the basic argument behind GMOs. That, that you can make something safe or you can make something dangerous by conventional breeding or by GMOs. Focus on what you make, not how you make it.